Hi everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. Today we're at Morgan Buick GMC here in Shreveport, Louisiana. And this is the 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD Pro. If you're one of those people who maybe says to yourself, I really would like to buy or I need to buy a brand new truck, but I know the 24s have some significant changes, which likely means a higher price. Well, that's true, unless you go with this truck. This is the double cab, by the way. So it's not going to be a typical crew cab size, but it still has more room than an extended cab would. The thing about this truck is that it doesn't have all of those changes. It has the same features and functionality as the 2023 models. Still very capable on-road, off-road. It is four-wheel drive, and it's a great work truck. Is it the ultimate working man's truck? Well, it could also be used for just having a good time with going out, playing with the race car, the boat, whatever the case is. Let's dig in and find out exactly what you're going to get if this is a truck you want to buy as a 2024 model. If you want to know more about this truck that does come in under $60,000 as a price, check out the link down in the description of the video. Here on the front end, we're still going to have a very aggressive look. The nice large grill, the GMC logo, if you like chrome, you're going to have a little bit here as far as around the grill, the chrome bumpers. We're going to have the recovery hooks that are not in chrome down here. I think that looks good as it is in black. That way, when the lesser trucks get stuck in the mud, snow, and sand, you can pull them right out. We have the LED projector headlights, the daytime running lights, and those turn signal indicators right there. And as far as this four-wheel drive truck goes, what about tire and wheel size? 275 will be our width. We're going to have a 70 series sidewall wrapped around the 18 inch wheels. And the advantage of these particular wheels, they're not going to have trouble standing up to the abuse that you're likely to put this truck through because of its capabilities. And under the hood, if you don't want diesel, you don't want to have to deal with that unnecessary diesel exhaust fluid. Well, the 6.6 .6 liter gas burning V8 made it to the 10-speed automatic transmission. And we do have our turn signal indicators built in to the manually folding. Let's see if I can get that to fold. There we go. I don't want to do that too hard. Side view mirrors. And let's see. There we go. A little hard to do one-handed. But you do have the towing mirrors, so obviously you can move things around. They are power adjustable. And let's take a quick look at the remote. And even though this isn't the highest trim by any means, you still have some nice features and functionality here. Now, there is no remote start here, but you can see that you do have lock, unlock. You can hit the panic button and you have the power tailgate. You also have the step here on the side of the bed. That makes things very easy if for some reason you need to get into the front area of the bed right here and get whatever there is. You don't have to worry about trying to go, come in through the rear of the bed, through the tailgate area. Just makes things a little bit easier. You will have the in-bed LED lighting. That's going to help a lot. Obviously the four x four logo right there. And one of my favorite features on these trucks are the corner steps on the bumper right here. They're very large, very deep, provides for a good sure-footed experience for hopping in and out of the truck without having to worry about lowering any steps or anything like that. And we finish things off back here with the chrome bumper. And while this isn't the highest trim level and has the latest and greatest in technology from GMC, you do still have the cool features such as the animated headlights, if that's something you're interested in. Well, now you know that it's here. And as previously mentioned, if you're not interested in a diesel option, under the hood is the 6.6 .6 liter gas burning V8. It makes 401 horsepower and 464 pounds feet of torque. It's definitely going to do a great job of getting the job done. No matter what the job may be, this is mated to a 10 speed transmission. In the interest of fair reporting, I did want to show you instead of just telling you about the fact that this is a locking tailgate. You can see right there. Now I'm going to unlock everything and guess what? There we go. Just so you know, a little peace of mind. This does come with the gooseneck and fifth wheel package, as you can see, ready for all of your equipment, all that good stuff. We have the 120 volt power outlet right here. Obviously, we're going to have everything over here you need for trailering and all that good stuff. 
just to show you what all is here. And I showed you the in-bed LED lighting earlier that shines forward, which makes things very easy when it's dark outside. And there are a total of 12 tie downs. We're gonna have six on each side, three in the front, three in the rear on both sides. That's going to make a big difference. Obviously a very capable truck in a multitude of ways, even though it's as simple as it is. And one thing that really separates this truck out from many others on the market, even though it's not a true crew cab, it's the double cab, you still have a lot of space back here for your rear seat passengers. You're gonna have that very light, nice large door bin and well, may not be the softest armrest around, but when you put your arm up there, it's pretty comfortable. And then we do have the seats that can fold up on both sides. Obviously, I'm just gonna fold up this one side, but you have all of your tools for changing a tire under both sides. And then the rubber floor mats here, the rubber coverings for the floor basically that help to keep things well as clean as possible because you can clean that out. You could actually hose that out if you wanted to. Easy to keep clean since you're going to be going off-road and doing all the work you're going to be doing. And the thing about it, let's hop on up here and I will show you how much space there is. This seat's pretty far back, but I still have a lot of leg room. That's a good thing. And then we're going to have the dual air conditioning vents down there. Now this truck does not have a sunroof of any type. For a lot of people, I don't think that's going to be an issue in any form or fashion as far as whether or not it has a sunroof. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but if that's what you're looking for, well, this is definitely the place you need to be looking. In case you are wondering, the rear axle ratio is 373. This truck does have a two-speed transfer case. It has the trailering package with trailer sway control and hill start assist. And we'll work our way into the front seat through the passenger side door. Nice large door bin here, plenty of space for plenty of whatever wants to go there, whatever people want to put there, your passenger. And being that this is, again, a very bare bones truck, the ultimate, potentially ultimate working man's truck, you're not gonna find a lot of technology here or a lot of creature comforts. You have manually adjustable seats for the driver and the passenger. Now, both are heated seats. Not really helpful this time of the year in Northwest Louisiana where I'm shooting the video, but no matter what time of the year, the pass-through can be very helpful. There is a lot in the way of little nooks and crannies and places to store things throughout the interior of this truck. And we'll hop on inside. There is another spot right here above the infotainment screen in the center of the dashboard. You do have single zone climate control, and I likely don't have to tell you much about that. Controls right here, kind of one-touch features for several different options. Again, I don't need to tell you too much. You know what that is. And then we're going to have the power outlet right here, 12 volt power outlet, and a couple of USB options. Now, something that really sets this truck apart, we do have a typical console here for the most part, at least. Cup holders, all that good stuff. There is a decent amount of space within the center of the center console, but one thing you won't find too often in this day and age, a sixth seat. Basically, this becomes a bench seat in theory when you fold the center console up. And the good thing about that is you have additional storage. I told you there was a lot of storage within this truck for tools and whatever anybody wants to put in here. And let's see if I can give you a good view here. There is a lock on this in seat storage right here. And all you have to do to get that center console to come back down, pull on the release right there, and there you go. And then let's just, for the fun of it, we'll take a look at what we have here with the vanity mirror. Now you don't have any lights here, but I guess that's just the way it is on the pro trim level. And how far back does that go? Well, it goes way back there, so far back that I don't think anybody is gonna have any trouble when the sun is shining through the side windows on these front doors. And here on the driver's side door, we're basically seeing a mirror image from what we saw on the passenger side, with the exception of a few buttons and functionality here. I likely don't need to tell you too much about what is there. Here are the controls for the headlights, your power parking brake, and the steering wheel is tilt and telescopically adjustable. I'm gonna reach down here and hit the push button start, and we'll take a look at the dash. That is all analog. Analog gauges, a really nice look. I, to me, that just seems more rugged and truck-like. I don't know what people think about that, but that's what you have. 
And something else that is extremely truck-like is going to be the column shifter. That is apparently a very popular feature with a lot of truck owners. So there you go. You know what you have. You do have your cruise control functionality right here and the infotainment screen. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so you can pair your phone and basically turn this screen into your phone. And then we have all of our trailering functionality right here in case you wanted to see what was there. We do have a lot of different settings. And while there's not but one camera view on this truck, you will have your rear view camera and you need to get back to the home screen. There's how you're going to do that. And then when we go into settings, there's a lot here as well. A lot of different features and functionality that you can adjust, that you can go into. If you want to turn Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on or off, well, there's how you do it under apps and under vehicle rear seat minder if you're not happy with that buckle to drive feature maybe you're working out somewhere where you're not on the road you're just driving around on a work site or at the farm or at the racetrack whatever the case is you can turn that buckle to drive feature off that's always helpful in that respect there's also a teen driver mode if you want to take advantage of that very easy to use also a valet mode got to be interesting to valet your 2500 pro double cab pro but ultimately, those are really the highlights of what you have on the interior of this truck. Like I said, it does have some technology, but not too much, but there's still a little bit here. Okay, let's get out on the road for a quick test drive. Really not much that I can do for you in the way of a test drive with this truck, other than to tell you, well, if you drop the hammer, you can definitely feel the horsepower and the torque. That's for sure. I'm pretty sure it would spin the tires if I took off without anything in the bed or a bumper on the trailer, but it's a really good truck. And I do apologize for the fact that, yes, uh, you are not in the best position for YouTube videos as far as the test drive goes, but you know what? That's the only downside to not having a sunroof here. Other than that, not a big deal, but a very enjoyable truck to drive. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a truck. It's a heavy duty truck. It's not going to have the smoothest ride around, but you definitely will be able to get the job done. And again, a big advantage here lower prices because well, gas is cheaper than diesel. You don't have to worry about that unnecessary diesel exhaust fluid that is unfortunately there. It just works better. And so overall, a really nice truck. It's, it's not hard to drive, not hard to get around, uh, easy to see out of. The only thing that I'd have to say that might be a little bit of a challenge, you have this really long hood here. Once you get used to it, not a big deal necessarily, but that is one thing so i could probably raise the seat up a little bit from my current seating position and it wouldn't be a problem but overall a really nice truck to drive easy to get around i mean it's not you know the smallest thing around but it's also not terribly difficult to maneuver it around and get the job done with everything that you might need to do depending on your situation so who knows maybe one of these days we'll have a chance to do a towing test with one of these and payload and all that if I could ever get a courtesy vehicle in the form of one of the, these HD trucks, we would definitely do that. So tell me what your thoughts are. Is the 2024 version of the GMC Sierra 2500 HD Double Cab Pro, yes, that is a mouthful, send me a video saying that five times fast and I'll give you a Vehicle Visionary t-shirt. Is this truck the ultimate working man's truck? Tell me what your thoughts are down in the comments section. What would you prefer to have? Do you like a truck that has all of the latest and greatest in technology and features offered from GMC? Or would you rather have maybe a little more of a bare bones option such as what this truck offers? I'm always curious to get your feedback. I have to say a special thanks to my friends here at Morgan Buick GMC for loaning me this truck for the day and a special thanks to each and every one of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, and would like to know more about other vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now, and I will see you there.